Constructing a tiny robot from DNA and using it to study cell processes, invisible to the naked eye, you would be forgiven for thinking it is science fiction, but it is in fact the subject of serious research by scientists from INSERM, CNRS and University de Montpellier at the Structural Biology Center in Montpellier. This highly innovative nanorobot should enable closer study of the mechanical forces applied at microscopic levels, which are crucial for many biological and pathological processes. Our cells are subject to mechanical forces exerted on a microscopic scale, triggering biological signals essential to many cell processes involved in the normal functioning of our body, or in the development of diseases. For example, the feeling of touch is partly conditional on the application of mechanical forces on specific cell receptors. In addition to touch, these receptors that are sensitive to mechanical forces, known as mechanoreceptors, enable the regulation of other key biological processes such as blood vessel constriction, pain perception, breathing or even the detection of sound waves in the ear, etc. The dysfunction of this cellular mechanosensitivity is involved in many diseases, for example, cancer cells migrate within the body by sounding and constantly adapting to the mechanical properties of their microenvironment. Such adaptation is only possible because specific forces are detected by mechanoreceptors that transmit the information to the cell cytoskeleton. At present, our knowledge of these molecular mechanisms involved in cell mechanosensitivity is still very limited. Several technologies are already available to apply controlled forces and study these mechanisms, but they have a number of limitations. In particular, they are very costly and do not allow us to study several cell receptors at a time, which makes their use very time-consuming if we want to collect a lot of data. In order to propose an alternative, the research team led by INSERM researcher Gaten Bellet at the Structural Biology Center decided to use the DNA origami method. This enables the self-assembly of 3D nanostructures in a predefined form using the DNA molecule as construction material. Over the last 10 years, the technique has allowed major advances in the field of nanotechnology. This enabled the researchers to design a nanorobot composed of three DNA origami structures. Of nanometric size, it is therefore compatible with the size of a human cell. It makes it possible for the first time to apply and control a force with a resolution of one piconewton, namely one trillionth of a newton, with one newton corresponding to the force of a finger clicking on a pen. This is the first time that a human-made, self-assembled DNA-based object can apply force with this accuracy. The team began by coupling the robot with a molecule that recognizes a mechanoreceptor. This made it possible to direct the robot to some of our cells and specifically apply forces to targeted mechanoreceptors, localized on the surface of the cells in order to activate them. Such a tool is very valuable for basic research, as it could be used to better understand the molecular mechanisms involved in cell mechanosensitivity, and discover new cell receptors sensitive to mechanical forces. Thanks to the robot, the scientists will also be able to study more precisely at what moment, when applying force, key signaling pathways for many biological and pathological processes are activated at cell level. The design of a robot enabling the in vitro and in vivo application of piconewton forces meets a growing demand in the scientific community and represents a major technological advance. However, the biocompatibility of the robot can be considered both an advantage for in vivo applications, but may also represent a weakness with sensitivity to enzymes that can degrade DNA. So next step will be to study how we can modify the surface of the robot so that it is less sensitive to the action of enzymes, 